In Luigi's Mansion 3, conquering the scarecrow can be a real challenge. If alone, the large floors are painful to navigate. If with others, their mistakes can easily doom the team. So today, I'm going to provide a few tips to make it all a bit easier. So let's start with a tip about games traps first. They're all over the place, they can be annoying as hell if you get caught in them. But they're easy to spot for the most part. Doors that don't have mats, they're fake. Carpets of your seams, they're fake. And for wardrobes, well, I'll get to those later. Either way, destroy them early. Suck up the fake carpets by pulling on the loose end. Use a suction shot to destroy fake doors. And for wardrobes, just destroy them altogether. Don't bother opening them, they're never worth it. Additionally, for wardrobes, look for the sign on the front. If it's two diamonds, that's real and that's safe. If it's a boo face, that's a trap and will trap you inside if you open it. Either way, it doesn't matter, destroy them. On another note, here's a tip that may help players with the keys. Basically, keys only ever appear in objects that are already visible when you enter the room. So if you enter a room with a key, don't use a dark light. Don't use anything like that. Instead, just check only the visible objects and you will always find the key you need. Meanwhile, if you're doing a bit of ghost catching, take advantage of the fact one player can control both Luigi and Guigi at once. So grab a ghost like Hammer with the Poltergust, then switch to Guigi and catch it with him too. You're then able to drain all his HP in seconds. If you find the money, you'll need to catch gold goobs in various rooms to get enough cash to move on. This is usually done by opening a box to Luigi and Guigi at the same time. However, did you notice the way to find them easy in other rooms too? Yeah, just look for furniture with gold sparkles. I'll appear after a while and that piece of furniture will always have the gold goobs inside. You can also find an extra source of money by opening safes in rooms. How do you find them? Simple, send the ceiling fan spinning with a poltergust. This will usually reveal a safe that can be opened with a strobe bulb. Similarly, you can also spin the office chair to flip over a desk and make a treasure chest appear too. Many people miss this one for some reason. There are also a surprising number of greedy only grates in the scarecraper as well. Yeah, I know you know about the bathroom ones with treasure chests, but did you know walls in normal rooms often contain them too? Or that they often lead to a treasure chest which also has a power up in it? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Hope it helps you here. There are also full blown hidden rooms in the scarecraper too. Notice any spots on the map with no doors leading there? Well, that's likely because there's a treasure room in that spot. So go into a corridor room nearby and shine a dark light on the empty wall. It will reveal a door leading to a treasure chest where you can get every power up in the game. Pretty nifty, eh? Finally, here's a tip for the Bulossus battle. Basically, you know there are statues around it? Yeah, if you shine the throw bulb on them, they'll spit out hearts for you to heal with. Simple, but a lot of people miss it nonetheless. So yeah, hope you enjoy the tips and I hope you find them useful for your scarecraper runs in future. Thanks for watching, bye!